my title is Secure Digital Twin Framework Leveraging Blockchain Technology and uh, Event Sourcing. So my name is Terbi Xin Yu Tao, and uh, currently I'm the postdoc research fellow under the supervision of Professor Jack Chen. So uh, as I mentioned, with the digitalization of uh, in the construction industry, the data security problem is challenging, right? So according to some rep already reports, the construction industry was the third target of the ransomware attacks in North America. And also in March uh, 2018, there is a report showing that a construction company was con uh, attacked and a lot of important data has lost. And also the attack on the AEC companies constitute uh, 28% of all attacks. So the, lat the latest ISO standards has recommended that the security approaches should be adopted as early as possible during your project management uh, of uh, life cycle. So I'm talking about the digital twin, so many uh, uh, speakers have talked about this, which has integrated a lot of IT technologies, BIM, IoT, AI, extra in, the, in one DT, all right? So in the D, between the DT, the, the physical asset and the virtual model, so there are frequent information exchange. So such information change in current solutions has two separate security risks. The first is centralization, so it may cause uh, the, the, the data manipulation, lose data integrity. Also, another problem is rewriting, so it may lose the data traceability. So uh, there are some uh, scholars has tried to store the uh, DT data in blockchain, so all right, to secure the data uh, uh, integrity and authenticity. But however, current blockchain, so you're experts in this field, you know, the, the capability to process the uh, TPS and the latency is very uh, limited because sometimes in uh, infrastructure, there may be thousands of uh, IoT data per second. So it's hard for blockchain to process such um, data with current capability it may cause problems like higher latency or network congestion, a low throughput or and uh, network broken down. So our research question is how to optimize blockchain performance to meet the data exchange requirement in digital twin. So here is the blockchain architecture existing uh, blockchain research to optimize the blockchain performance, we, they may focus on the layer one, layer two. So the bottom layer to change the consensus, to change the data structure, or even change the network, which is very uh, costly and uh, mathematical challenges and not general, not suit for the construction industry. So therefore, we focus on the third layer. So this is a trend to optimize blockchain recently, to uh, optimize the application layer. That means control the data speed or the data throughput at the source. So uh, we try to propose this secure digital twin framework leveraging blockchain technology using uh, uh, in by integrating with event sourcing. So event sourcing is uh, a, a distributed, also distributed one. Uh, software architecture pattern where all data changes are recorded uh, as a sequence of events. That means each transaction or each IoT data will not directly go to the blockchain. They will be packaged in an event sourcing database or also distributedly, and uh, then they will go to the blockchain. So this, uh, so a new idea come to my mind uh, by learning this technology is that we can use the asynchronized data exchange. So we propose this blockchain even source integrated architecture. So we, I won't go detail to this architecture to, to, yeah, to complicate the presentation. So I'll give a, a simplified explanation. So whenever there are data in the DT model, so this data will first go to an active layer. So this layer will tell the system that there IoT data comes a lot of, no matter how, how, how many the data are, no matter how fast they are, so just active our layer. And this data will not go directly to blockchain as I mentioned before, so there is a buffer using uh, even sourcing technology. So the second is the buffing, buffer layer, so even the sourcing. So this data will be packaged into one event, event, event by sequential. And then there is a asynchronized uh, computing so this event will be packaged into block, block, block. So this block will be stored in the blockchain layer. So that's the basic idea of our integrated architecture. So uh, since we have such uh, buffer-based uh, architecture, the performance can be improved, and I will show the results later. But another security problem has been raised because this data do not go to blockchain. It uh, goes through some layers 
the active layer, the buffer layer, and finally go to the blockchain. So what will happen? Uh, so there is a chance that the data can be changed during the uh, buffering process. So we try to propose uh, a synchronized, uh, a synchronized uh, smart, smart, uh, smart contract algorithm. So within this algorithm, we first will sync the data that come to the buffer layer. So come to the event sourcing uh, data. And also we will verify the data when it comes to the blockchain. So two-phase verification to, in, to guarantee that data uh, integrity and the unchangeable. Uh, here's a brief demo showing that we have implemented the, uh, this architecture in some digital twin uh, project. Um, yeah, I will skip to some key point. So we can see the data can uh, successfully be stored. Oh, sorry, phone, I cannot speed it up. Yeah, whatever. So I just want to show, yeah, it is workable in the DT platform. So I like to show the results. So compared with the existing uh, blockchain platform, so we use Hyperledger Fabric, yeah, more suitable for the DT. So with one, uh, one is uh, formal, yeah, normal fabric, and another one is we add a buffer layer. So the performance is that they have similar throughput. So we do not weaken the throughput, but our latency is, yeah, much lower, actually. Uh, according to our experience, 90% latency can be reduced through this new uh, blockchain uh, architecture. So this is our the brief introduction of this work. So I'll come to the conclusion. First, the contribution is that now we propose a blockchain event source integrity architecture to enhance the performance of existing DT for secure and but with a high performance. A second contribution is a synchronized smart contract algorithm for secure the DT data integrity. So as for our future work, because currently we only consider the IoT data for the DT and the uh, blockchain, but in DT um, we also have other kinds of data. So maybe we later will use some open beam standards or using some uh, open CD workflows to make the uh, capability of our DT plan for more uh, uh, Applica uh, applicable to other uh, scenarios. So finally, uh, this work is done by uh, our blockchain team, led by Professor Jack Chen. Also, as professors uh, introduced this morning, we have some uh, blockchain publications in terms of the beam and the cost management and uh, even the carbon emission. So any cooperation is very welcome. So that's my presentation today. I hope I saved some time. Thank you.